Third generation Levo is undoubtedly the king of e-bikes. I'm going to give you my experience on this size extra large. I will also show you how to unlock this bike's real potential. My first ride on this bike was an all day epic. The drive unit, the Bros 2.2 motor, only has subtle changes, but it has drastic improvements as far as range goes compared to the older motor. The carbon comp I'm riding is probably the best value to money because you get the Mastermind TCU system. The fancy display or TCU Mastermind is a game-changing improvement because you can see the actual battery life. The bike basically comes with full power, so Microtune is only good for detuning the motor with less power for more range. I found the Levo to excel in literally every type of riding I could put it through. Bike park, jumping, all-day epic, rough enduro tracks, high speed, climbing, cross country trails, not even mentioning all the geometry adjustments every rider can find their setup on this bike. After the first day in the Levo, I found it kind of slow on these all day epic cross country trails with the 27.5 rear wheel. So being the tinkerer I am, I took this home and I ripped that 27.5 wheel off, stuffed a 29 in and realized that something was hitting inside the rear triangle. I looked inside of there and it looked like the only thing hitting was this little mud guard. You could probably make the 29 inch wheel work fine if you adjusted the chain stay, but I wanted to leave the bike as stock. I flipped the bike over, ripped that 29 inch wheel back out, discovered two little Allen bolts holding the mud guard on. It looked like the mud guard was glued in and I didn't want to mess with the glue on a brand new bike. So I put a little screwdriver underneath and discovered that mud guard is just clipped in. Specialized fit and finish is outstanding. They don't need to glue stuff in. I put the 29 inch wheel back in the bike and did a whole bunch of different tests, make sure I wasn't going to destroy the frame. I removed the air from the rear suspension and depressed the shock. To my delight, there's actually more clearance in the rear triangle angle when the suspension is compressed. Flexing the tire side to side, no frame contact. It looks like this bike is good to go. Took it for a spin around the block and boy, don't full 29 inch bikes just look better than mullet bikes? Wow, the Levo with full 29 inch wheels is fast. Third gen Levo rear suspension is a major upgrade from the previous model. It's already more capable and efficient. Combo this new suspension with full 29 inch wheels. This bike is a brawler. The extra speed carrying of the big wheels combined with the more efficient suspension and the already plush specialized FSR is unbeatable. Running two inch bigger wheels on the rear is like adding 20 millimeters of travel. I was mocking through rock gardens. It almost felt better than my Kinevo. Another great benefit of a rear 29 inch wheel, it slows the rear suspension down and becomes more predictable. After testing and tinkering so many bikes, I know putting larger wheels on is typically not as big of a problem as putting a smaller wheel on. Larger wheel will raise the bottom bracket, which can be an issue if you're really pushing it, but not on these cross country trails. All mountain, all day epics, full 29 inch bikes are gonna make your life easier. We're at the bike park. We're gonna, I'm gonna try the 29 inch Levo. I was coming up short on these jumps. Maybe it carries some more speed. We'll compare how it was stock and with the 29. The 29 inch Levo is no slouch at the bike park. Specialized really dialed this rear suspension in. I'm guessing the shorter rear end helps this as well. That extra wheel helped me carry speed and I was able to clear most of the jumps at this bike park. When I was pushing through berms, the taller bottom bracket on the Levo didn't feel quite as good. This bike park isn't gravity greedy and it's a little bit flatter. I felt like the 29 inch wheel really helped me clear these tabletops, but if I was at some gravity hungry downhill park, likely the 27.5 would feel better. I would go for the size large or the S4. That's a personal preference. I just like my trail bike to be very small and compact. I'll leave you with this clip of the Levo in the staircase with full 29 inch wheels and hopefully you'll try it out too.